Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are going to continue our study on hand independence using 16th notes. And uh, this will be the sixth lesson in our six part series. That's not going to end my lessons on independence. It's just like a series where I thought of composing some music, putting them together. And the music involves a lot of hand independence, very riffy, very chord playing and all that. So in the first few parts, it was always about the pulse. Actually, the first four parts, if you see, it's all about maintaining the pulse, which is steady crotchets or quarter notes in one hand, playing either a chord or a bass line or a chord tone or the root of the chord, while the other hand develops a certain pattern. And in part number five, which is syncopation, we looked at combining our two hands to basically play all the 16th note beats. Now in this part, I'm going to look at a very standard, commonly used rhythm pattern, which is going to be played in the left hand. It's called the tresio and or the pop clave. And in the right hand, we are going to play a very simple repeating or recurring melody, okay, which is just like maybe two or three notes at the very max. So before we get started, another reminder that this is a six part series on 16th note hand independence. So there will be a playlist on this. So head over there. Uh, you don't have to watch any of these videos part part one, part two, like that. You can watch any part, whichever you enjoy or whichever riff you enjoy, you could learn or hopefully you learn all six. That'll be really cool. And also once you've cracked the code, so to speak, try to send it to me. I'm available on Instagram. You could post it and tag me and I will be happy to share it, right? So let's get started. So the left hand is going to be playing this standard, very commonly used pattern called the tresio. And in this part, we are not going to really look at pulse in either either hand. It's your job to play it on time well enough so that the audience who's listening to you can actually feel the pulse. Okay, so the left hand is going to be playing Tresio. Let me play it once and then try to break it down. Right? This is the left hand. So how do we count this? Basically, you're dividing again by 4, 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a, and the left hand is basically going 1e e and a 2 and 3 a 4 e and 1e e a 2 e and 3 e and a 4. So wherever I'm snapping are basically the tresio hits. 1e e and a 2 e and 3 e and a 4 e and 1e e, right and 3 e. Mm -mm. Right, very popular. You've heard it in all these EDM songs and even older songs as well. So I've chosen three chords for the exercise. And in the left hand, you're going to play those three chords in the tresio rhythm pattern. So what is the pattern again? Ta, 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 ta. So one e and a two e and three. E. Okay. So chord number one. Very simple F minor. I generally love playing in the key of F minor, as some of you have pointed out. So, yeah, F minor it is. The second chord will be E flat major sixth. It's a four note chord, which I think you'll enjoy playing. So you go E flat G, B flat C. Okay, first chord again, F minor. Do, do, do. F A flat C. Second chord. E flat G B flat C do, 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 do. and then the third chord again I'm playing it with four notes it's like a B flat major inverted of course D F B flat and I'm adding the C which makes it an add nine so you could say this is a B flat add nine with a D bass so it's like a slash chord of B flat in the bass not B flat in the bass so it's a D in the bass to not B flat which is traditional B flat so ta -da -da -da, which is a nine adding that color that add nine color so chord number one F minor chord number two E flat major sixth chord number three B flat add nine slash D so let's look at the fingering of each of these three chords. F minor, you could do one, three, five, pinky, middle, thumb. Then E flat major sixth, you could do pinky, middle, index, 
thumb and the last chord you bring in your ring finger which you've not yet used pinky ring index thumb so and the way we've designed the chord progression would be such that the first two chords are played for two beats each so that's 1 2 3 4 and the last chord which is b flat over d a whole bar of 4 f minor e flat b flat slash d for four counts so bring in a melody now there okay so this is basically as quarter notes and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a, let's try and play this with a thresio now pam pam pa bam pam pa bam pam pa bam that's each chord f minor e flat major 6th and b flat with d in the bass and you'll also observe that thresio is a two beat phrase it's not a four four beat phrase it's just two beats so it's not too difficult to internalize tak 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 but keep that 16th note time feel going on as we've seen in this entire independent series so f minor for two beats one e and a two e and a e flat for two beats and b flat for four beats or 2 plus 2 first thing you'd want to get is this of course and i'd advise you to practice it first without the pedal in a very obvious staccato way don't force the legato when the pedal is off right because now you get a nice choppy dance kind of sound and i also like to do that maybe at the last hit long 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 right staccato legato okay then try it with the pedal perhaps the pedal poses slightly different challenges because you have to lift it obviously before you strike the next chord so that the notes don't superimpose like this doesn't sound so great right so pedal lifting If you've not used the pedal, no problem at all. You can just not use the pedal, right? But the pedal provides an additional layer of complexity and sonic fun. Okay, so that's your left hand. Ani, sometimes you may want to break it down and and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. So that's basically what the left hand is going to do right so now coming to the right hand melody i've chosen a very simple melody and the hit points of this melody are such that they don't really merge with the hit points of the left hand so in a way it's a little bit of syncopation again but this one is playing a very standard rhythm which you can use for the left hand rather is playing a very standard rhythm which you can use for any music while you, which you would be playing in the right hand so the right hand basically again is a two beat phrase so okay one e and a two e and a those are the hit points one e and a two e and a three e and a e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a okay only at that four point i'm adding the a flat as a passing e at the e of the four okay let me just play you the melody you can even get it by ear i'll just try it play it with a simple left hand okay it's quite easy it's a flat b flat b flat it's just toggling that while in the second bar i'm doing just to add some flavor so b flat a flat coming back to the root f in this case f in the f minor scale
Okay, so what I did there in the fourth bar, I accessed this D, which is a very interesting interval. It's called the major sixth, and it's used actually when you combine it with, along with the minor third. It gives you a very brave kind of sound, right? It sort of transforms minor, which was once sort of sad and melancholic. to more hopeful and you know epic right so let's look at the whole melody again bar 1 bar 2 bar pa bar 3 same as bar 1 bar cha na bar cha that makes it dorian so remember it all comes from the f dorian scale right okay so e and a two e and a speed and then you need to superimpose that with the thresio in the left hand playing those same chords so that's pretty much the exercise guys so it's a little melody on the f dorian scale which sort of sounds like minor but then we call it dorian because of that well, i mean we officially call it dorian because of that major 6th so dorian scale has a flat 3 minor 7th and a major 6th that's about the right hand melody really simple notes the left hand is playing f minor e flat major 6th B flat major add nine with a D bass and over the thresio pattern. So you need to do the thresio here, and you need to do that uh, slightly syncopated melody in the right hand. Da 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 da. Right while you play the left hand thresio. Okay, and uh, yeah, I like composing generally on the Dorian, as you will find in a few of my songs which I have written as part of my band, Jason Zach Band. So there's this one song called Redemption which was released last year from the album The Absence of Laughter that features my really close friend Mr Dennis Austin who sung on that track also helped me write the song and it was absolutely an incredible experience working with him as I've been working with him for so many years now uh, God rest his soul So if you get the time do head over to the description and click on the song Redemption give it a thumbs up as well as this video too okay so as we do in all these independence exercises i'm going to play the exercise super slow and uh, i would like you to try and play it along with me so that you don't have to use that annoying youtube slow feature i'm only going to play it slow and uh, we're going to do a lot more independence exercise in the future but this sort of culminates the six part series on 16th note independence right i may do a lot more on 16 notes but i definitely will do a lot more on general independence hand independence is there and even finger independence is there so there'll be a lot more videos on independence but i'd like i wanted to do this six part series to kind of give you most of the perspective 
perspectives when you're playing piano in a real world context where you have to develop your groove to develop your chords you have to play a melody somewhere you have to hold the pulse for the audience and so on and so forth again this is jason here from nathaniel if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon for notifications give the video a thumbs up leave us a comment with stuff you'd like to learn or just say a hello and i will catch you in the next lesson let's now go to the super slow version of this exercise <laughs>